Hello and welcome to a new video. I am, I'm coming straight out of pajamas. You can't see because I'm just so short. Wait, I don't know if anyone but pajamas. Believe me, it's pajamas. I can't be bothered wearing anything else in this Christmas time where I don't need to go anywhere. It's been a while since I made a video and um, it's time to make a video again, I guess. A new background? No, I'm in the room. My computer is just over there. My bed is here. Yeah, it was just Christmas. Merry Christmas! Woo! And uh, it's almost gonna be a new year. 2019 needs to be better than 2018. But, I know you're gonna be excited. What did you get for Christmas? Well, first, I got a rat. And then, a lamp. Hat. Do you think this thing is not amazing? Because if you don't think it's amazing, it's gonna get angry at you. And Anne, as I like to call her, the duck. Yeah. A small pack of Pringles and a Nivea shower kit thing. I don't know what it is. That's some of the things I got. I got more than that. I actually got a thing I'm wearing on my wrist right now. The Apple Watch. Ooh. There we go. Something... A segue into the topic of this video. You may see my Apple collection over there. Apple collection! And other geeky things on the channel. Oh no, I ruined everything. <laughs> I apologize for everything. This is so unprofessional. So, yes, Apple. That's kind of the main thing about this video. Oh, I look like Shrek. But <laughs> this video is so... It's not scripted or anything. I literally just wanted to make a video. And it's the biggest mess of all time. Anyways. Apple. Apple is... A trillion dollar company that makes products that are, in some minds, way too expensive. Okay, so I've tried to record this segment once before and I ended up just ranting about Samsung. So I'm going to try and do this again as well as possible. So, change. It's innate in all humans. It's something we do quite a lot. Like, oh, I want the new... I want a new car. I want a new phone. Uh, I want a new toy. I don't know. We change things a lot. I mean, have you seen the amount of change from 2005 phones to 2010? To 2008? Wait, no. To 2018? Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, I this- I! <laughs> I this year changed from Samsung to Apple. And that was a big jump. And uh... I ended up really liking Apple. It was just a jump for change, really. I was just bored with the Samsung product line. I wanted something new. That's where the Apple, the Apple of the world came in. I don't know. <laughs> so you, you see my collection over here. It's really nice. You should check it out. I ended up liking it so much that I got the iPhone. First, which was the uh, main opener, then the AirPods, great product, did a review on that, you can check that out up here if you want, oh, I forgot to throw that out of the way, and then the Apple TV, that's a, I think a collective amount of maybe 11 $1,000? I don't know, okay? Just find it out yourself. Then, for Christmas, I of course got the Apple Watch. You probably saw that on Twitter, or did I mention it later in this video? I don't even know, because I, this video is just such a big mess. Okay, yeah. So I changed my entire life. I had a Fitbit Charge 2 back in like a few days ago, <laughs> and um, it was Good, but I ended up wanting this bad boy more. It's what? Oh, what? <laughs> Jesus. Making 
Mickey Mouse does the thing where it reads the time. It's one. Oh, what? Forgot about that. He legitimately scared me. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I completely ditched Samsung and went with the wait Apple. Did that drawing make any sense? Probably not. But why? It's expensive as all mooses, okay? It is really expensive. And, but then I think, well, Samsung's flagship current phone is how much? Like eight to nine hundred dollars, I think. Not too far away from the iPhone 10, i8, or 10s, or 10R. So, the phones being expensive? Can't really say that's true. MacBooks? <laughs> yes. Definitely too expensive. They need to. A bit down. Just, just a bit down. Headphones? Eh, they're fine. The price is fine. Apple TV? I think it's good. It's like a... It's got, from what I've heard, the same specs as an iPhone 6, which basically the- my Apple TV is running there, but basically that's like an iPhone 6 but with different operating system that can be on the big screen. That's literally the Apple TV. And I, I end up really liking it, uh, because with the Chromecast that I had pre- with the Chromecast that I had previously owned, you had to use your phone which would run out of charge really fast and would just um, eat your battery, okay? That it would just, that's what the Chromecast would do. With Apple TV, you've got a choice. Do you want to use the remote that they send you in the mail or your phone, which I left over there. But what I am trying to say is that Apple has improved my life. It's become more easier to do things. Bluetooth, the Bluetooth headphones, AirPods, are just wonderful. And they were a big thing that changed how I listen to music. Might be too expensive. Might to be, but da, but da. They might be too expensive, but I paid them. So what makes me want to go to Apple rather than Samsung, the big giant in the second, third, somewhat place? Well, it's the fact that the ecosystem for Apple is just too great to not say yes to. If you have a an iPhone, Mac, Apple Watch, and AirPods, that's your lineup then you can manage your photos on the Mac from your iPhone over iCloud and if, this is gonna be very complicated, but if you have an Apple Watch, you can just go like this on your Mac and it unlocks and they kind of just glue together really nicely. AirPods talks to literally everybody else in the lineup other than maybe HomePod and yeah, basically HomePod. Yeah. The Apple TV can talk to basically everybody, but well, yeah, it can talk to HomePod too through audio. So the Apple TV connects to everything. You can stream a movie from your computer to your Apple TV and from your phone, iPad, whatever. Your iPhone connects to your Mac where you can transfer pictures and airdrop things. You can connect it to the Apple Watch and receive calls. I'll do a demo of that. I just called myself with a house phone. I can, I can decline it and answer it. I declined it, but you can receive calls on your Fucking wrist! That's amazing! Everything talks 
with each other. That's one of the big reasons why Apple is just a big hit in my heart. Everything talks together. But a second reason for why I love Apple so dearly in my heart is OS, operating system. iOS is more than an evolution, okay? I'm not jo Johnny Ive here. Hey Samsung. Hey, 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 hey Samsung, do you have an inbuilt screen recorder? I think not. Well, I'm not gonna use it right now, but you get the point. Can you compete with iMessage? Here's my iMessage with my friend Hunter. You've seen him on the channel before. I can literally type whatever the flipping dick I want and send it, and it, it goes automatically over the internet. SMS is slow, and you, if you write like an essay through SMS, it will cut into pieces and everything will be a mess. A big mess! And so OS is really nice. I've flexed about this before, but have you seen the connection between the iPhone and AirPods? Boom. Takes like two seconds. That's amazing. And so that's really my two main points for why Apple is so great. OS on Android phones, yes, they're more open. You can put apps wherever you like. But at the end of the day, I don't really miss it that much. I don't. In fact, I don't really remember anymore you, moving apps wherever I like. And to be honest, at first I thought iPhones were going to be messy and like the apps were going to be everywhere. There was not like a place you could hide them in like an app drawer. But I mean, honestly, I don't think I really want it or need it. Which you do yourself. Yes, Siri is probably the dumbest. AI assistant person, but <sighs> you can download on your iOS telephone, I think at least. Correct me if I'm wrong. Which is just, you know, Alexa. Oh, did I just activate all of your devices? I'm so sorry. So yeah, that was my little ooh, about Apple. And I hope that if you are really dear to your core with Samsung, that you shouldn't change that because I made so many good points for you to change. I think that whatever works for you is what's best. And personally, Apple does that job really nicely. And hey, do the best job that and they do what I think is necessary for me to like them and so even if there's score even if there's statistics that show that the Samsung phones will always be better because of the graphics cards and graphics cards really Axel because of the CPUs and whatever that doesn't matter because preference is what counts. And a 60 year old that is no interest in tech is most likely not going to give a literal Christmas tree about if the core in the phone is so and so good and you know. They just want the thing that works for them. And that's how I feel. I don't, I'm interested in if my phone is slow or fast, but it's not that I care or get teary over that oh my god Samsung is so much better over the graphics and I've heard that Apple kind of is better when it comes to graphics and all that <coughs> my god <laughs> oh my god I'm getting the Samsung disease <coughs> that cough literally messed up my entire video for god's sake 
Well, I literally can't remember what I was talking about. Oh my god. Dementia! Okay, that was probably really offensive to some people. Thank you for watching my video. I'm just gonna end it here because I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Happy New Year for those who are watching then or if I didn't edit the video in time for 2018. This is my last video of 2018 or my first of 2019. I don't know when this is coming up, so you just, you know. Yeah. Tell me in the comments, which is your preference, Apple or Samsung? I'd like to know your preference. And um, yeah, this video is a big mess. Hope you liked it though. See you next year or later this year, depending on when this comes out. Oh my god, fucking. <laughs> oh, it's such a big mess.